Hi guys, it's your boy Six here with a Linux review. Today we'll be looking at one of the newest operating systems, if not the newest operating system. This is actually called Extern OS, and it was developed by an individual developer. Now, when it comes to terms of design and looks, this definitely beats a lot of the Linux veterans out there. Let's check it out. Okay, so now we're actually just going to make a brand new Xtern OS, basically boot disk on a virtual machine. Now the virtual machine that I'm actually using personally is called Boxes, if anybody decided they wanted to do VMware on Linux. Now we're going to live boot this from the hard disk, well actually not from the hard disk, but we're going to live boot it from the system itself, that acts sort of as an ISO on a flash drive, but you're using it through the VM. Okay, so now we're just going to give this a little bit of time to build. Now, my virtual machine for this one only has about 2 gigs of RAM, so there is a slight wait time. But also, I have an SSD in this machine, so it shouldn't take too much longer. And it looks like we are actually in. Nice. So for first and last name, John Doe. Actually, you know what? Let's actually do code six in honor of the channel. So we'll hit next. We'll do this agreement, which is pretty much mandatory if you look at it. Did I click that? Um, Let's try that again. Nice. Wi Fi is connected because we're on a VM. Select our region. Seems to be fine. And let's continue. Oh, okay. Um, I guess like one of these new services is actually mandatory. And the setup is as easy as that. Okay, so now that we're actually in the desktop environment, what should we actually look at first? The menu seems to be very clean and a minimalistic design. Nothing on notifications. The volume panel pops up. Default at 50%. This is very nice looking. And I actually love this. There's a native screen capture tool on this operating system because we know that a lot of distros or software in general, they don't give you like a default screen capture software, which is good. Network connections, there's nothing there except for our unknown local network because we are on a VM. Now, this thing is interesting because it looks like the um, start menu on a Windows machine, but what does it actually do? Let's find out in a second. Oh, okay. So it seems kind of like a conversational assistant. Very nice to have. I'm not sure if he's using any APIs here or if he made this from scratch. We'll just have to find out later on when he makes a full release. And like I said, this project was actually released by an individual developer. So you have to give him kudos for all the work that he's done. So there's only a few applications that come pre-installed with this. Let's look at the dev kit. So apparently all the apps for this operating system are actually to be made in JavaScript. So that's a first of its kind for me anyway, I've seen. But by the way it looks so far, the IDE is very, very clean. And I love the theme that he had that makes everything a little bit see-through. It's always something nice to see a new kind of design. I don't really care too much for this pop-up window, but maybe that was something in the distro he used to construct this operating system, which looks like Ubuntu, by the way. Yeah, so it seems that you would code an HTML, CSS, and JS for all the apps on this. This is actually pretty amazing. 
the code editor looks very beautiful I've never seen anything like it personally okay so none of these are drag and drop is what I'm testing I've actually never used this so I mean the, f the first time you guys are viewing this is the first time I'm actually viewing it as well so we'll open up the start menu again and we will click on the file browser okay now the file browser is a very unique one I've actually never seen a file browser this intricate looking normally they're just a basic design all across the board whether it's Mac Linux in Windows but this one looks very different so again props to the developer on this one okay so the images don't really open up when you click them you would have to right click and have like a sort of different kind of menu but that's completely fine this OS is still in its beta stage or actually not even the beta stage it's still in its alpha stage like I said this isn't a team doing this is an individual developer so the fact that this even runs on a VM is amazing because when I downloaded it it actually said that it would break on a VM but as we can see here it's running on boxes so checking out the music player now it's very elegant looking everything across this operating system has the same overall theme which is good playing a little bit of the fat rat in the background and it seems like ultimately the developer is gonna have this kind of like a store right because we know a lot of operating systems have their own app store and I think he might have his own music store or he's using APIs that will pull from other places like internet radio you can rate the songs it's actually looking very nice okay so that button at the top left will actually get rid of our window which is nice and one thing I notice is that there's a circle to maximize and minimize the screen and I think no there's a button to maximize and minimize the screen but the circle is actually to close everything out now in our images folder I'm sorry there's nothing for us to test because there are no images in this entire operating system except for that one background which we should have tried but that's neither here nor there So coming back to the menu we're actually going to try out the app center hopefully there's there's a few applications that we can test out and download but I'm not really banking on anything like I said this is one of the newest operating systems I've well not even one of this is the newest operating system I've personally heard of but the app store looks like it's going to be very very nice it looks really similar to the ubuntu app store and the elementary os app store just it's kind of elegantly styled with his own personal transparent and blurry theme let's check out this text editor really quick create a document name we'll just call it new okay so very functional text editor nice and simple like I said I really really love what he did with the UI the design is really amazing and to be honest it's just a resolution of my actual VM machine but if this is on a 1080p screen which would be a wide screen I would prefer this look of OS over to I would prefer I would prefer this look over the Mac OS X look even the highlighting is elegant search function seems to work I can't be too sure and the search function does work so you can actually search for specific sentences specific words and things like that in your entire text file so let's go ahead and close that one out 
the next thing is live. I'm not sure what that could even be. Okay, so live is your video client, so you can open your local video files with this. Now, because there are no videos in there, I'm not sure if you can connect this to an online streaming platform. Only time will tell. And finally, we'll look at the browser. Okay, so this is very, very unique, and nobody can say that it isn't. So let's click on YouTube and see what's going on there. And let's type in code 6, see our channel's doing so far. 63 subs. We gotta make this go to 100k. Someday, eventually. And we're gonna go back to Google very fluid and responsive browser I have to add it's actually not okay this is something that's really good because when I searched for google.com the DuckDuckGo browser came up so this makes me think that we have the ability to change our search our search engine pretty much our default search engine and yes we do there's a drop down list but it only has Google Bing or DuckDuckGo in my personal opinion Google Bing I mean, not Google Bing, but Bing isn't a contender to Google or even Yahoo, but Google is supreme in that right. And finally, it seems that everything in this operating system has been explored. Now, I look at the tabs in the bottom to try and see if I can find a new sort of application, but it seems as though we've viewed everything. I do enjoy the weather on the right side of the screen. It's always something nice to have. Let's see, system settings looks exactly just with a little bit of styled icons as most of the Ubuntu desktops, the Linux Mint desktops, the elementary OS desktop, Zorin OS, whatever you want to call it, most of the distros that are based off Ubuntu have a similarly looking settings menu. All he did was put his own little theme on it. So this is nothing too new but it's great that he had it in there and his settings seem to have a little bit more such as refresh rate, brightness and gamma. nothing available for user profile and the entire operating system isn't fully functional because it's still under development but I just like the way this developer being a single man on his own got this job done and it's a operating system that has JavaScript for its desktop apps nice to have thanks for watching code 6 like comment and subscribe it actually helps out the channel a lot more than you think